What's up guys and gals, welcome back to Tropical 5, my name is Splattercat and we are here taking a look at our lovely little city. We're in our first run that's actually been a little bit close in quite some time and that's going to be due to the fact that this game is not balanced for the patch that I have implemented. So in the previous episodes we have found that you could only have 2,000 citizens before you implement a patch or a mod which allows you to go up above 2,000. So right now I don't really know what the long term effects are of adding that mod. The mod developer has said that he has not balanced the game in any way for having more than 2,000 citizens. Citizens, and so it may not work out for us. We may end up coming to a head eventually, but as it stands right now, we're kind of engaged in this battle of outrunning immigration. And so what we need to do is I'm actually thinking about a lot of these houses are still being used. Okay, never mind. We're still looking at the houses. What we need to do is we need to get some more Teamsters because I notice a bunch of the buildings in here are having problems keeping themselves moving supplies around. And we do have a lot of Teamsters unions around, and I'm pretty sure. There we go. Let's go ahead and set those up because I'm not really sure why that wasn't there. But I want to make sure that all of these are ready to roll. We added garages at the end of the last episode. We also added a whole bunch of Teamsters office. I think we could probably go with another Teamsters office down here just to make sure. Like one further Teamsters office before we call it a day. So let's do that. And we'll take a look and it'll maybe be right there at the end of the road. And that'll help us out slightly. I don't think that's going to be the end-all be-all for our problems, but it should assist us slightly. We've got this new dock that we set up here in the top right-hand corner, which is going to be exporting all kinds of goodies from all of these farms over here. We haven't modernized these, and I wanted to follow through on that because somebody had asked why I'm not modernizing my farms. It's because once you modernize them and they become hydroponic farms, you have to have high school educated workers. And unfortunately, whereas I have four or five high schools, we simply aren't pumping out high school educated workers at the rate that I would like them to be, so... We can win without cheating. I don't think we're going to have any problems right there. Taking a look at our things that need to get done for the future. Let's look at our happiness meter. We need more entertainment. And so that's going to be the first thing that I really want to get done with today. I want to make sure that we do a whole lot of entertainment. So maybe I'll go through and plot a whole bunch of cabanas. We'll put in that sort of stuff all along this new residential zone that we have over here and over here. Definitely, this would be a great spot to pepper with some taverns, some bars, and things like that. Other things that we want to think about are going to be job quality is up, but we have a lot of unemployed people. That's not going to be something I can help because immigration is way up right now. I actually think what I would like to do is if we take a look at our constitution, I know I've been kind of weaseling back and forth here, unfortunately. It's not something that I enjoy. Oh, never mind. We went with visa program already. Okay, so that's already been taken care of. I've been trying to lower the amount of immigrants that we've been getting, in case you were wondering. That's been a big deal to me, is I want to make sure that we don't have too many immigrants. I'm also going to be keeping an eye on our bulk revenues for right now, because I do think... Okay, so we won the election again. We're at 59%. Hopefully, we can get back up to like the mid-60s. That would be my best hope. We have a whole bunch of ships coming in for exports right now, I hope. Although we have had an issue recently where the ships just aren't exporting anything. Like they pull into port and then nothing good happens. They just sit there. So I'm not really sure. Like a lot of these docks, you can sit here and stare at them. Oh, that's an export ship. Okay, that's fine. It only took oil though, weirdly enough. I think I might need way more docks. It only took 1,500. So see, we've got so many goods sitting at our docks that I'm not really sure... We do need to do something. We definitely need to do something about that because sitting here with goods on the docks not making any money is not going to be a long-term acceptable strategy. And so the only thing I can really think of is to add more docks on this end and more docks on this side of town. It'll add more jobs too, which is what we're low on. So let's go ahead and we'll add another dock. And I think this one's going to have to be on a diagonal. Yeah. Yeah. Because the shoreline is diagonal, so unfortunately... It also depends where we can squeeze it in. I wish these were a little bit more free to be placed. Like, right there should work perfectly fine, and yet it won't for some reason. So in a lot of ways, my design strategy has been one of sort of utter failure. Unfortunately, I'm just going to have to live with that. That's sort of a circumstance that I can't help at this point, not without rebuilding a whole bunch of stuff. So we'll go ahead and add docks. As many as we can, in fact. And I really want that one down here that I saw. There was one spot where it allowed us to place. There it is. And so those right there should help us get more exports out. I'm going to have to build roads to these guys, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and we'll get that started now. We'll go up this way. 
and this can then go over and attach to there maybe no it's not going to allow me to do that once again road system in tropico very very finicky by comparison to other games we'll drop that in right there and we're just gonna have to wait at this point we've got 60 percent approval let's go ahead and with some of the excess cash that we're sitting on right now let's maybe consider putting in some entertainment buildings over here and so we can go with taverns which are very very easy and they fit into small spots and so we'll do that we'll drop a couple taverns in here we've got a little bit of space right there and so I don't really see any problem in going with a a cineplex really I didn't even know we had that yet okay well we've got a cineplex so I can maybe make that happen we can go with a I'm gonna go with not ancient ruins that's not what I wanted I wanted a cabaret because I knew it would fit we don't really have a road back here we can put a cabaret right there and then let me rotate this for a second and is there any way to get a road through there so I've got all this empty space in here and it's a little bit disappointing to me that I'm not capitalizing on it and so what I would prefer to do is maybe go like that and then while that's there let's leave the game paused for a moment obviously it's gonna cost us a little bit of money to get trucking on all this we got a nightclub too how big is that oh the nightclub is actually fairly sizable we'll go for a nightclub right in the middle of town and then we'll put in another what's this we've got taverns let's put in another tavern down the street for these people right here and so we've got two different taverns we put in a cabaret and we also put in a nightclub we put in a discotheque so that people can get their dance on so that's good people can cut a rug if they want to although I never understood that saying like unless people were ever dancing with like razor blades on their feet I don't see how the option of dancing whatever it might wear down the rug it might fray the rug but I've never considered it cutting the rug your shoes would have to be quite sharp for that to occur or you would have to pick up the spiked boots like you have in Spelunky and then maybe you might get some cutting but really I still feel like that would be more directed towards the piercing end of the spectrum now that we've got entertainment needs a little bit sorted out over here I'm really hoping that all of the jobs are gonna be uneducated labor they should be as far as I know they should all be directed towards uneducated labor we've got another Teamsters Union over here let's drop in a parking lot to help them out with the transit and I'm thinking over here somewhere might not be a terrible idea for one of those banking thingamadoobers we've got the achievement sheep for wood which is the reverse of the settlers of Catan saying which is Produces peril from no, that's not what I wanted, which is the opposite of who's got wood for sheep. I know it's the age-old joke that everybody laughs about it comes up every single game It does without fail every single time And so if I place this in a busy area where there's lots of people I make lots of money and that's an idea that gets me feeling somewhat husky because that's pretty sweet for me So we'll drop another one in here. I don't know what its radius looks like my guess is that I'm probably not gonna be able to We've got illiterate workers there. Okay, that's acceptable Illiterate workers there. That's also acceptable and then the taverns. Let's go ahead and step those up as many illiterate workers as we can possibly carry along This should help our entertainment slightly. I Mean it's it's a tough nut to crack right now And it also takes us a little bit to see the adjustment the other thing that we wanted to start focusing on is I've heard that we should be discrediting other so we should be running smear campaign while at the same time using the promotion of other where is it right here? There's one that allows us to Let's see there's one that allows us to social engineering so we want to promote the communists but at the same time what we want to do is we want to smear campaign anybody that's against us and so in this case the smear campaign that I would go for is let's have a look here the smear campaign that we want to look at is going to be the religious we need to smear the religious we need to smear the environmentalists but I would start with smaller groups like the nationalists first so let's smear the nationalists first just to test this out and see how it works so in smearing the nationalists there it is and so we've run a smear campaign against the nationalists and we've run a promotional campaign for the communists which means what that's done for us let me put the game on pause for a moment while I explain this so that we're not wasting valuable time while I just kind of blather on the smear campaign causes a faction to lose people and it makes the people that remain hate you even more since we're only at like 19 with them anyways who cares they all loathe us there's not a whole lot we can do about that and so what we want to do is we want to destroy their faction as much as possible and then if we run a promotional campaign on the communists at the exact same time we have a really good chance that they'll jump ship and they'll go straight to the communists which is the faction that loves us and so it's an easy way to trade a little bit of excess cash to get yourself like right there we already got like two percent I don't know if that was because of we'll take a look here 
Oh, entertainment went up slightly by like two points. I think we're gonna have to do better though if we want that to work. I'm also thinking about bulldozing a lot of this housing and removing some of the roads from here. It's a risky maneuver that I don't really like that much. But we need to have better housing solutions here. Since we've got excess cash, the other thing that I would say is I would modernize some of these. So with the two 14,000s, let's modernize three of these. There we go. And so now we're going to sit tight for a little bit. I'm going to wait for our cash to maybe pile up for a moment or two. And so there it is. We've got people in high rises now while those are being built. Unfortunately, people are not going to be able to move in. It gives us space for 16 families, though, which should over time render these pretty much worthless. Now, we lost a whole bunch. Or we lost 1%. It's not a whole bunch, but it's something. Let's take a look at how that smear campaign ran or if its effects are even evident as of right now. So it looks like they lost like 20 people and the communists gained. Actually, we're losing quite a bit of ground with the communists as well. That might explain it. So they don't like a lot of our principles right now that we have enacted. So they don't like immigrant nation. They don't like energy efficiency. They don't like God. They don't like anything. They're actually sort of bummed out. So maybe we don't want to promote the communists anymore. We just want to keep them kind of back. But then again, who do we jump out for would be the question right there. If we move over, none of the other factions have enough sway. The capitalists like us a lot, but it's in our best interest to sort of piss them off. So we've got four years until we can mess with our edicts. So I'm thinking what I might do is I might move things around to a more communist set of ideals. That explains our drop off. I don't know how I didn't notice that. We'll continue upgrading these. So let's go ahead and modernize some of these apartment buildings just to make sure lots of people can live in them. God, what is it selecting right now? Stop that. I'm trying to do stuff and you're frustrating me. Well, I'm not frustrated, but it's definitely difficult to click things while you're doing that. There we go. And so housing quality is back up. We should get people up into these high rises. If I lived in a building like that, I would definitely be outgrowing them britches. I would feel myself definitely inflating the ego a tiny bit because that building is impressive. If I pointed at that building, I was like, that was where I lived. I, I would I would expect a, a little bit of awe in any case, or it just leads like, oh, I don't live there. When somebody heard that I lived there, then they'd be bummed out about it or something. I don't know. <laughs> That's terrible. Let's go ahead and make sure all of our docks are... Oh, yes, I forgot about you. Okay. Well, then, let's go ahead and pause the game here for a moment. And that's not going to be far enough in. So, unfortunately, I've already... I really hate building roads in this game. I will say that that is the one thing that you really expect them to sort of, like, fix over time. And, unfortunately, the roads are still just wonky as hell. If I go to there, will you be happy? No, you still won't be happy. Okay, well, let's go ahead and we're just going to go balls to the wall here because we don't have a choice. The roads are being a pain in my ass, and so we'll go like this. There we go. And so once we've got all of these connected, we'll go back through, make sure their budgets are okay. That gave us a couple more workers, which is alright. And it'll also give us some more ships so that we can export more stuff. However, we need to wait for cash to come in. So let's go ahead and speed the game up. We'll wait for our imports to pick up the slack. We should be making tons of money once we get this all sorted out. So they're already exporting coal. This building over here is not really doing much. It might be in our best interest to maybe throw in a couple of Teamsters unions over here. Just to make sure that the proper palms get greased along the way. There we are, and then I would also say maybe another construction office, just to make sure that we've got all the stuff we need. And then we'll go into this menu here, and I should probably start getting some other stuff going as well. I mean, honestly, our industry's a little iffy right now. I need to amend the comp- okay, we got three years left, so in 2016, everybody remind me that in 2016 we need to amend the constitution to make the communists happier, or happier, not happier. Happer sounds like one of those words that people would use as like a slang term for something cool from like back in the 1940s. Be like, that's totally happy, chum. That, that feels super peachy keen. All right. It does look like we are going to have an influx of cash. So let's start modernizing some of these smaller areas around here. I'm beginning to think that these should all be modernized. 
And let me rotate the camera so I can get a better view here because obviously they're getting blocked off one by one as I go through. It's making it very difficult for me to modernize these, but we do have the money, so we might as well do it. And so if we get a couple more families living in the center of town, we are going to see a lot of shacks at the moment. But wealth required broke who lives there. I mean, we should be seeing some of this clear out over time and so I don't know what to do with this over here I do think that I need to shuffle this around slightly all these houses are a little bit too much for what we're trying to do right now in modernizing our central city and so what I think I'll do is I'll bulldoze there's a clinic right there hmm Let's bulldoze this farm because obviously we've been expanding our farms in different areas and so this one can go. We'll demolish it so that it's out of the way. And then we'll consider putting in... Modern apartments like so. And so that'll give us a little bit of extra housing. And then what I may do is I may actually start getting rid of some of these houses to start, put or start putting entertainment in this area. We could put a couple of entertainment buildings over here. And so, for example, like a cabaret could go right there, and then we could throw in... The casino is not going to fit, but... Put a cabaret right there. I'd like them all to be sort of central city, but unfortunately, it's not really an option right now. Let's make sure these are all adjusted to the proper budget. Okay. And so people should start moving in eventually. And we're going to kind of ease the process by demolishing some of these homes in here. Because what makes people happier than when you come by and destroy their houses? That's clearly the best way to get people's attention. And then what we'll do with this is we'll turn this into... Can I fit a nightclub in here anywhere? Not without getting rid of that clinic. Well, what I could do is put in a hospital up here. So let's do that first. We'll put in a hospital. And then once the hospital's in, we'll start making use of some of this other land. We'll bulldoze this to just for the fact that the hospital's in. And maybe a cineplex right here would be an interesting way. Where is that at? Is it in... Where did I put it? There it is. Cineplex, do you fit? No, cineplex is still too big. Could put the cineplex right there. We already have a hospital right there. That's disappointing, but it'll probably work out okay. We've got people protesting over something, this, that, or the other. Probably housing, because right now we're in a transitional period. Healthcare, we got a lot of deaths. Actually, housing's looking pretty good. I could probably back off housing for right now. Entertainment and crime safety seem to be an issue. Let me see how this area is looking with regards to our crime rate. Ah. Uh, and so we actually have the perfect spot for a police station right there. So we'll drop the police station in. I really want to put a cineplex in, but I don't know. There's a ton of crime around where we live. That's actually the reverse of how things tend to work in real life, but whatever. We'll deal with it as time goes along. With the extra cash, these little spreads of houses right here, I think I should get rid of them. And so let's go ahead and do that. So all of these houses are going to go. I'll also probably get rid of the roads in here and try and resegment this a little bit more efficiently around apartment buildings. And this is going to take a while because they've got to come in and plant dynamite on each one of these. Or at least they used to have to do that. I don't know if that's still how it's done, but... The clinic might also have to move. So all of those houses being gone has raised our homelessness. That'll kind of hurt us in the short term, but... We should be all right in the long term. We're also going to bulldoze this clinic to get it out of the way. And we're just going to try and retrofit society as best as we can right now. And this leaves us a nice little back street, too, where I can throw in entertainment buildings. Or maybe put in one of the banking establishments. Can we run another smear campaign? 
Well, never mind. We'll figure it out shortly. We are dropping off. Luckily, there's no election cycle near us, so we should be okay there. Just gotta hang in here for a minute. These take a long time to build as well, so... More problemas than we know what to do with. Ah, and that leaves me space for a road right there. Okay, that's good. So we'll drop a road right there. And once we get this housing sorted out, I'll probably do the same thing right here and put in more modernized buildings. I, I, I made the mistake of relying very, very heavily on housing in the first half of the game. And so that means there's going to be several very large retrofitting periods for us where... Let's make sure that we upgrade that properly so that if we have any disasters, they get taken care of. Community aid. Are these all upgraded? Ordination autonomy. Okay, so let's double the maximum amount of visitors. That'll probably make our religious people happier because religious freedom is a little bit low too. Few more apartment buildings up, and they are—they've actually appropriately allocated their budgets already. And people should flood into these pretty rapidly. And what do I want to do with the space now? I don't know. I just don't know. I'm at that point in the game where all I'm doing is kind of fixing stuff and making sure that past inefficiencies are taken care of. We could probably bulldoze a lot of this down here, and then add more apartment buildings, and then put something. I don't know. This whole area is a little bit iffy. So I think that a good plan right now would be to go through like so, get rid of all of these. Once again, we're going to see a overall rise in our homelessness. But it should work out to our favor once everything settles. So we've got like that brief silty period where there's everything floating in the water. You know when you shake a fish tank? It's like that right now. And then... In a few minutes, it'll all settle back down to the bottom and look nice and blue again. Got a couple minutes left in the episode, so I want to rush these out because we've got a surplus at the moment. And surpluses are great for you and me. So we put that right there. That'll allow us to... What is that, a tenement housing? Oh, God. Okay, so the tenement housing can probably go... What can I fit in this little area, though? I do think that it's a good idea to try and outfit this with entertainment and whatnot now, rather than later. I can fit taverns. That's about the best that I can do, but that's kind of... It's, it's bummy entertainment. They don't really like that quite as much as just about everything else. I also think it might be worthwhile to get rid of all of these towers and maybe have more military bases or something to free up this area, which has just become like a mess. I built this in the colonial period and just never got around to fixing it. So let's go ahead and pan and scan around. That's what we'll use the rest of the episode for. Just finding random housing to get rid of. Are people even living in these right now? Okay, so people are indeed living in these. Got a clinica out here. We've got a hey, obstetrics wing. Yeah, go ahead and upgrade that. Make sure that that's all functioning fine. And I think that we've got 10,000 right there. I think that we've got enough docks at this point. I feel like the money is finally flowing after a long, long dry period. It took me a little bit to catch up, but I think we'll be okay. Over here, I do want to start getting some roads run for further tourism. But I think we'll probably save that for the next set of episodes. I mean, I don't really know what to do with this down here. But my intent is to have more tourism. I feel like I've been slacking over here as well. And this will also supply us with a really, really good chunk of jobs. Actually, while I was talking about retrofitting things, I should have come over here and done all these too. So we'll do a couple of those. And then I think that's a great spot to break off the episode. So my name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me in the Nerd Castle for another episode of Tropico 5. Things are still sort of dithering. We're on the edge right now, but it's important to note that we are running mods. So none of this is approved by the developers. I mean, the game may be functioning outside of its normal specs. So anyways, my name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me in the Nerd Castle for another episode of Tropico 5. I'm going to go ahead and cut the episode here. We'll see you next time. Take care of everybody and hi-do.